hello guys today i'll show you how we can add schema markup uh, to our blog post so to do this at first we need to check uh, our theme have any uh, micro micro data I mean I am using GP theme I mean generate press generate press has default microdata to so to do the test so I open a blog post and copy the URL and Mm, to do the test we need to uh, go validator.schema.org I will give the uh, this URL in the descriptions so I paste the URL and then selected fetch URL and then click run test So there is schema detected uh, by default um, GP using WP sidebar bread crumb list creative work site navigation element and Hadoop. so uh, we need to disable this when we, we uh, when we add any custom um, in uh, custom means uh, we uh, add schema mark markup using a plugin or something like this so we need to disable the default schema so to do this we need to go back to backend and we need to add a little bit text i mean filter so for generate press to disable the generate press uh, schema we need to add this filter so I also add this uh, snip uh, code snippet in the descriptions. So if you are using GP theme, you can disable using this code. Or if you are using Astra, so I also add this snippet of text in the descriptions. So let's go. So I copy this. Uh, add filter functions and then go back to the our backend and then to do the add in PHP function we need we have uh, I am using this snippets plugin so add new snippets and add new you can install the, this plugin from WordPress repository plugin repository so I need disable GP uh, default Sorry, default so schema and then add this filter and then uh, we need to uh, click save change and activate okay so if you run this um, if you check the uh, URL again open and blog post again copy the URL and then if you run this so currently I have bread come list and uh, this so okay this is not a matter uh, so we can uh, because we it's it's not nothing problem because uh, it's basically uh, not GP schema it's basically uh, pull uh, from uh, these breadcrumb list from the SEO plugin I am using the SEO framework plugin so we need to if we disable this so it will it will not appear in here I hope you uh, I we already disable the GP schema GPS microdata using this 
add filter this filter okay so now we can uh, ready to add schema markup so to do this we need a plugin so plugin and add new and then in the search function so we search like schema and I'm using this plugin schema and structured data for WP and AMP so click install now and activate okay so plugin is installed so in structured data we need to go to settings first so in these sections we need to set some we need to uh, set up some general settings like about we currently i don't have any about us page so if you have about about us page you select this page um, and then contact for the contact page um, i mean your uh, contact us page i don't have it in, in right now so i keep it the default so then website schema for home pages so i select it and then site link search box i also select this and if you want to break enable bread breadcrumbs and comments we i already enable breadcrumbs with seo plugin so i uh, not check these ones and if you want to buy add schema in comments so i can add this and you can also uh, add site navigations menus in the primary if you uh, what is your menu see so for my sites it's primary so i have to set change and then we need to go to uh, knowledge graph and then um, we have to fill up all of the necessary things so currently i am using text logo that's why uh, there is no logo, no logo. you need to uh, upload the logo from here so I hope you got it and then add your contact number contact base and then uh, contact type uh, so and then rest of things are default is enough so we go back to schema types and then we need to add a schema so for to this we click on this add schema type basically this is a blog site so we need uh, we can in include add uh, article schema so for schema type uh, I choose article and then item list and skip uh, speakable and then next and uh, we want to uh, define the post type so it's posts so next and we are almost done so let's go so uh, it's uh, already added so if you can check this uh, any URL again so I copy the URL and then Right, we can check this if our site is eligible so I test it so test URL and I also uh, recheck the URL again so at the run test okay so our articles schema is added so there is no warning or no errors so i hope you got the point how we can add article schema so let's see what 
on Google reach result test give us okay so now it also show uh, one valid item detected so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you i hope it's help you to clean, um, add schema so you can uh, choose any type of schema, blog postings book anything pro course fact how to and there is a lots of schema type if review recipe so based on your site preference so so thank you for everyone